welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be installing this wig i got from curly me collection i received a 13 by 4 hd 26 inch body wave wig in the box i received a wig cap some lashes and some accessories the accessories are halloween themed because i received the wig a while ago This is what the wig looks like before I bleached it and plugged the hairline. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I do my bowl cap method step by step. So the first thing I do is use my got to be glue gel and place it on my client's edges so I can slick them back. I then use my tail comb and comb all her edges back and use the blow dry on heat. <laughs> For my bowl cap, I use some sheer stockings from my local beauty supply store and this is what the packaging looks like. Make sure that the stocking is covering both your client's ears completely. Then you're going to use your scissors and make a hole for your client's ears so when you place in the glue on, the cap can lay flat. Now you're going to use the adhesive of your choice and trace out your client's hairline. Once the glue has completely dried, you can then proceed with placing the makeup on the bowl cap. I only placed the makeup where it'll be shown, so my client was doing the middle part. I placed it in the middle of the cap and across the hairline. When you're cutting the cap off, make sure that you get as close to your client's hairline as possible so you're not leaving on any cap that you won't be using.
this is what the wig looks like on my client now i'm gonna go ahead and place my first layer of glue on When placing the wig into the glue, make sure that you're stretching it so it can lay flat on your client's head. When you're cutting off um, the lace from around your client's ear, make sure that you get as close as possible so that when you cut it off, the braid doesn't show. This is after I've cut both sides of the lace off and I left the band on for a while so it can melt for a little bit. For the baby hairs that we chose today, um, we're going to do a little swirl on top of the regular swoop. So when I'm doing the little swirl, I always cut it a little longer than the actual baby hair.
When the baby hairs are completely dry, you can then take off your wrap strips and get ready for hot combing. We did receive a body wave wig so for the styling process we wet the hair and let it air dry and this is how it came out. The curls are way more curlier than the body wave texture and it came out very pretty. I combed out the baby hairs and outlined the part so this is the finished look. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching.